Welcome. The Moral Missing Thread. I am back with another reaction video because I'm not a reaction channel. Um, so I've got a small handful of friends on here that uh, message me periodically on various platforms like the Facebook and the Instagram. And, uh, you know, they share new music with me, uh, new metal bands that I may not be familiar with or, you know, new releases that I may not, not have kept up on from people I'm familiar with. You know, just different songs, albums, videos, whatever, you know, whatever. Uh, but uh, my, fr my friend Joshua hit me up on the Instagram and uh, shared a link with me of a band called Dawn of Ouroboros. And I am not familiar with them. And the song is called Spiral of Hypnotism. It has an official video. And they are described as atmospheric death doom metal. That's right, atmospheric death doom metal. Uh, I I don't even don't even know what to expect with this. Uh, I can only imagine what that might sound like, but I don't know. Uh, we're gonna find out together. Um, but you know, the name of the band and the name of the song it, it it piqued my curiosity. The fact that you know I'm not familiar with them, and it sounds like it could be cool. Uh, I w I want to check it out. Uh, I want to know what atmospheric death doom metal is. So, uh, let's go ahead and jump into this. Uh, again, this is Dawn of Ouroboros, Spiral of Hypnotism. Okay. Rain, with, rain without ads. Okay. All right. So right off, we've got the woman and it look like a microphone in her hand. I'm going to assume that the, this is the vocalist and this is probably why this was recommended to me. Uh, now I'm really curious. Um, all right. So I'm going to back it up because it sounded like it was going to come in pretty hard right there. Um Okay, I get the atmospheric part. Uh, it's definitely, definitely very atmospheric. Um, it has more of a like post-atmospheric blackened feel to it. Like, it, I mean, it it's it's not black metal, but it's it's got it's got a lot of the blackened elements to it. Um, and definitely, like I said, post-atmospheric black metal vibes, like real big time is what I'm getting from this. And I guess I get a little bit of the doom element just from the cording, but um, let's go keep going. I like the little scrapey noises. So there's that. Uh, her growls. 
And the fish, she, she got the claw. Who? <clears throat> I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that. Um, uh, I, I like this woman thus far. Like the layered growls right there. I, I always love layered growls, but <clears throat> her low growls are wow. Um, she's she's got good range on her growls, and they're it, it definitely has again the, the the blackened element. I mean, all of the music, her growls very black metal esque. Uh, the the blasts on that one part um and, and that riff i mean it all it's it's very blackened they should have blackened in their description um Fuck. Okay, so <clears throat> sorry. Uh, when when her clean vocal first came in, right there, uh, it reminded me a little bit of Tanya from Monochromatic Black. Um, it just had that same kind of tone to it. Um, but then when that harmony, the harmony came in, it kind of remind it was to me it was like a mix of uh tanya and tatiana from ginger like the those kind of harmonies that they both use uh like when she was harmonizing with herself that was beautiful um the fact that she has these kind of queens these kind of harmonies and has the growls the low end and the high end and like can get guttural and get that really like raspy like uh, airy high end black metal kind of growl at the same time like she's got all of that uh, I know people might not want to hear this but she could give uh, Tatiana Courtney Lauren Angela and Tanya a, a run for their money all of them like this woman is badass I am I am now officially deeply invested in this. Like the music is great. Her vocals and her presence in this song, like just visually and sonically is just unreal. Let us keep going.
the the changes in this song and just that that jam just then and again with the layered growls and just the intensity fuck this is this is just beyond good i'm really enjoying this a lot visually uh, you know there's not too terribly much going on and what is going on i don't understand and i don't necessarily care I'm not even really paying that much attention. Um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of enthralled with the music itself right now. And just like I said previously, her presence, you know, has been my primary focus. Primary, prim, primary, my pr <laughs> the fuck? Um, but yeah, um, it sounds like it, it's about to go into another, like, really melodic thing right now and uh this would be interesting so uh you know i want to hear her clean vocals again <laughs> Okay, that guitar solo was really simple, but it was it was kind of pretty. You know, I can't hate on it. So I, w I was definitely feeling that band uh, immensely. Uh, I am I w I'm definitely going to go check out more from them. I, w I was not expecting that. Um, I don't really know what I was expecting, but... Uh, that woman was a very pleasant and very welcome surprise. Um, I, I just don't don't even know what else to say. I mean, musically, it was fantastic. You know, it was kind of all over the place. I mean, not in a bad way, but like it just it had a lot of variation, a lot of progression to it, and it had very melodic parts, and it had more like atmospheric parts. And, you know, it had some heavy parts. You know, it just, it kind of, it took you on a journey, which is what, uh, you know, music should do. And, you know, I enjoyed the journey that it took me on. Um, so that's really, that's all I've got for that right now. Um, so thanks to uh, Joshua for recommending that. Um, I, I've got new designs up in my merch store. Uh, there's a link in the description. Uh, please feel free to go check them out. I've, I've added several new things recently. Um, also, if you're new to the channel, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you don't mind. You know, it just helps me grow and makes me able to do these videos. Uh, and if you 
are interested in supporting me on the Patreon. There's also a link in the description. And for as little as $1 a month, you can help a small YouTuber achieve his dreams of getting a sex doll. So, uh, I'm going to go. But in the meantime... Get people into world.